She ain't never changed If I lose, you ain't gon' charge it to the game I'm the one to blame, pleasure over pain Sorry that you came Put money over fame, never been the same But I've been deranged, never went insane All them darker nights, they turn to brighter day Told you that I never leave your side Yeah, you always on my mind I know you down to ride Through the winter, you a prize Trophy in disguise, you know it's up, I never lie Down is where they try to keep me stuck, but I'm up high Pockets blue just like the sky, I know they wonder why I, I know they wonder why Yo, welcome to the BMW Trading Podcast, it's Disco 33 And on this episode, we're gonna be talking about marketing and business Now, I, y'all know, y'all already know me, man I done opened up a couple different businesses I started some when I was young And even now, I'm working on my own Like, even just me as a brand, Disco 33 as a brand Like, that's still a business, if you ask me Like, because Anytime you're trying to develop a career, like Jay Z said it best, you know what I'm saying? Like he said, I'm not the business man, I'm the business man. You feel me? Like it's not like I'm not the, I'm not a business man now. Like I'm the business. So what I had to learn how to do in business is like market, marketing. Marketing is like the number one tool for any business, like especially if you want to grow it to the next level. Like you have to put yourself out there, out there. You have to expose yourself as a business. You feel what I'm saying? So. Today I got somebody on the call. He started his own marketing agency, right? He started his own marketing agency. He's passed the Google certifications, you know what I'm saying? Like he passed all of that kind of stuff, right? But to take to the next level, like this guy started a couple of his own businesses too, and they've all grown exceptionally well. Right? They've all done like top notch, top tier things. Like I've I've watched him go from zero to a hundred, like and and it ain't even like we ain't even gotta necessarily say real quick, just know that it happened in a fast time because he put in a lot of work. Right, and a lot of it came with the market and it came with just the, the experience that he was gaining by putting himself in positions to learn from the like the best people, like some of the some of the people that have actually like spent years and years in this stuff. Like this thing we've only we're only we're young entrepreneurs in the game, you know what I'm saying? Like we've only been in the game for a couple of years. Like I say, like I've been in the game for about five. I don't know how long bro's been in the game, but I know he's been in it just about the same as me. Probably a little bit longer because he does some other stuff that I you know, I can't even talk about, you know, I'm keeping it for myself. But what I'm saying is that he has the experience and knowledge that's going to help you guys to understand why marketing is so important in business, in every business that you start. And especially when you're building and you're manifesting your wealth, like you have to understand how to play all sides of each area. Like you have to like, not necessarily be a jack of all trades, but you have to learn at least, learn at least something about each trade. So I got my guy on here today. His name is Antoine Fowler. And like, he's going to give you all of the knowledge that you need to know when it comes to marketing for your business. All right. So go ahead, go ahead and take it away, bro. You know, I the, there's no better introduction than what we, what we just had there. I want to say thank you, you know, honors to finally, you know, do a project with you. It's definitely an honor to be on a podcast with you, bro. You you don't even know how long it, it's been. It, 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 this is well due. This is well due. We've mm-hmm. been in the trenches together. You, you We definitely, you know, been in some, some dark places to where we, 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 we was down. You feel me? And to see where you actually came from, to see all the things that you've actually built and created yourself and how you marketed yourself to me, I, I definitely want to, you know, give you your flowers while you're alive. We don't we don't do enough of that. We don't you feel me? Everybody wanna wait into somebody's past to give them their flowers and I wanna give them to you now, bro. Like it's definitely an honor to be here. Right. And and again, my name is Antoine Fowler. If y'all don't know me, I I definitely uh, have been in this game for quite some time to understand why marketing is important. Right. So I'm definitely going to go ahead and drop them gems. And and again, thank you, Disco33. All right. All right. So like basically what he just said was that you should me. He's, he do this. You should me. Like he ready for this. Cause that's what he do. You know what I'm saying? That's what he do. So, you know what I'm saying? Like, what is the importance of marketing, bro? Like, let me, let me explain something real quick. Like, I like, like I said, bro, I started a couple businesses at the crib or even like, okay, in my dorm. Let's go back to that. You know what I'm saying? That's the first one. Like, when I started cutting hair in my dorm, right? Like, even marketing that. I, I use Snapchat. You know what I'm saying? I use Snapchat. I was promoting. I was posting it. Like, I take a, take a picture, whatever it is that I had. You feel me? Uh, whatever, whoever I cut that day, whatever kind of cut it was, you know what I'm saying? And I posted on my Snapchat, you know what I'm saying? That was like the first form of marketing that I did. And I really didn't even know that that was marketing, you know what I'm saying? I didn't even notice that. But 
like I did something to get a lot of business, I guess, you know what I'm saying? Like, and, and I feel like when I went, is it like, I started to understand that marketing was important, like, fairly after that, when we started doing parties. Like, when we started doing parties, then it was like, all right, bet we got to get it to everybody. So it's like, we started different tactics, you know what I'm saying? Like, marketing is, like, super important, especially, like, when you're just starting off a business, just getting people attracted to the business. So, like, when I'm asking you what's the importance of marketing, like, what do you think is, like, like, the, what's the, what's the, the attraction part? Like, you feel me? Like, how do you get people attracted? And, like, why is that part so important for a business and, like, the growth area? You know what I'm saying? Like, how do you grow your business with marketing? You feel me? And the attraction based marketing? You, feel me? you know, th- this definitely the, one of the best, it's probably the best question to, to start a podcast off like this because, you know, before we even get into marketing, we definitely have to understand why it's important to market and the importance of it. Right. Let, let's just say, you know, you, you start, you know, the party business, how, how you, you know, you're throwing parties and stuff like that. Let's just say one day you go ahead and you get a DJ, you get a venue, you get, you know, drinks, you get food, everything like that. But you don't tell nobody. Right. That means it's going to only be you at that venue. Right. So it's like in order for you to get people to it, you have to understand that you have to tell people about it. You have to post about it. You have to, you know, whether it's word of mouth, whether it's social media, whether you feel me, it is newsletter, however it is, you have to understand that you have to get your idea out so that people can understand that you even have that idea. My, of course, there's other people who have the idea, but they, they're, they're not going to speak out like you. So you have to market that so that those people can see you and they can come to you. So then they can come, you know, to that venue, whether they're going to spend money, whether they're going to see, you know, a, a show when you throw a concert or something like that, whether it's artwork, anything it is in order to get people there, you have to tell someone about it. You have to post about it. You have to market it. <laughs> <Pardon>. <laughs> It's simple. It's all the, every every business we've started. You got to think about really the the key part to every business we've started in order for us to generate any income. Whether it was really going from zero to ten to twenty, thirty, forty, fifty people, whether ever, however it was, it was like we had to tell people about it. We had to constantly talk about it. We had to let people know that we knew what we was talking about in order for someone okay. to really you know want to even work with you. You got to know what you're talking about in that field because it's like, I'm not going to waste my time with somebody who don't know what they're talking about. You feel me? I, I want to know that you you understand why you're even doing it. I don't want you to just be doing it just to be doing it. I want to know your heart's in it tight. So it, it even that marketing tight, you got to understand how to market that. It's people that's out there marketing schemes and scams and stuff. That ain't what it is. You got to understand <laughs> different marketings. <laughs> you feel me? Because <laughs> it's different markets, like... It's not just, it's not just one like lane for marketing because there's so many different markets in this. And, like, it just depends on the kind of business. I would say for sure. You know what I'm saying? Like, what kind of, what kind of marketing you gonna do? And then at the same time, it's like you gotta just understand your market and the people you're trying to get into. You know what I'm saying? People you're trying to, uh, the people you are trying to attract to your business. You know what I'm saying? Definitely, that's a market in itself. <laughs> so like, when you're looking at like demographics. You know what I'm saying? When you're looking at demographics, how do you figure out how do you figure out the kind of demographic you want to go for? You know what I'm saying? Like, when you're thinking about your business, I guess, because I, I, that's, this is a real question that I have. You know what I'm saying? Like, I've always, I never could really put my finger on what a demographic was. You know what I'm saying? Like, for me and my, my specific audience. You know what I mean? Like, so I was just asking, like, from a, just from a, from a general perspective, like, what do you think? How do you think that you can develop that sort of demographic for your audience? I mean, like for your, yeah, for your audience that you want to get, like, you know. So when you, when you start to get into demographics and trying to figure out what your audience is, people, I don't understand where they get the, the under, their understanding to uh, correlate demographic and race or demographic and, you know, a, a skin color or something like that. Because that's not what just demographic is. A demographic is, you know, an age or a, 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 a job or, you feel me, even a height. I mean, those are some simple things, but it's like it doesn't just correlate with a race. So when you're thinking about your demographic, let's just say for me for example for my digital marketing agency it's like my demographic would be you know the ages of 18 to probably 35 f45 
And the reason being is because of, that's the, the age range where people still have light, people still have go in them, people still, you know, are, are have an inspiration to, to a drive inside of them. You know, those are the people who are actually going to work and are going to go get it. I don't want to, you know, work with a, a demographic that is younger than that because they still don't really understand where they're going and stuff like that. Well, we got to have a purpose for what we're we're going to be marketing. You feel me? That's the, the reason being that I, I understood that people, they, they, they don't understand how to market. So I, I took out a lot of time to even understand it and dig deep into the reason why marketing is so important. So do you think that do you think that paying for ads is important? Like paying for ads, like paying for promo, do you think that it's like better if you're trying to do it yourself first? So when it gets into paid ads and free advertising, don't get me wrong, you definitely can build up a hype with free advertising. But uh, we're talking about somebody who is very popular, somebody who knows a lot of people or, you know, can be is connected to a lot of people. Yes. then that will work for you. You feel me? But it's like if you're starting up a business and uh, you, you want to scale, you want to get past, you know, 50 to 100 to even let's say 200 people. You could get two, three hundred people with free advertising. If you want to get to four or five and, you know, touch a thousand and get into thousands of people, you know, and really scale, then that's when the paid advertisement would come in handy. Yeah. How much do you think that how much do you think is a good amount to pay when you start out a business? And then, like, what about if you like, you know, well, yeah, like how much? You know, like, go, like, what's the highest form of ad that you, you commit, you heard of, you know what I'm saying? And then, like, like I said, when you start out a business, how much do you think it's important that you pay for the ad? You know what I'm saying? Like, how much, how much money you should pay for the ad? I mean. So when, let's just say, for example, for me. When I was starting out my business, I definitely fell into the trap of thinking that I had to drop thousands and thousands of dollars on marketing. And I was like, wait a minute. At, why would I do that if I don't even have thousands and thousands and thousands to drop to drop on advertising? You feel me? I need to put into other places. And so then I started again to look into it and I found out that go where you are. Don't try to go beyond that. If you only have 50 to 200 to even say a thousand dollars for advertising, that is good enough. Start with what you have. Don't try to, you feel me, say, oh, I want to get some big advertising and I can't pay for it. Just go with what you're able to afford at that time. It's better to go with what you have than to try to go beyond that at that certain point. Yeah, I feel that. I feel that. You could work with what anything. You say you can work with anything? Anything. <laughs> I've so seen like what, it all. Uh, <laughs> it's crazy. Uh, I've seen the numbers that you could literally, you could touch people with anything. So it's like, don't think that, don't think too much about it. Literally work with what you got. That's why you have to budget for marketing. Like in every business plan, you have to have a, a spot for marketing. And that's what you use. You use your budget. If it's not in your budget, don't do it. But if you have your budget, then that's how you know you're going to actually succeed. Yeah. That's true. Definitely got to work into everything. Everything definitely... Nothing is free, bro. You know what I'm saying? I say, like, nothing in life is, like, really free. Like, yeah, the free marketing is cool. I'm going to ask you, like, what do you feel like is some tips for the free way to market? But, like, my free marketing is cool, like you said, but you always want to make sure that you you putting your money behind it, too. You know what I'm saying? Like, because if you want something to really go far, you know what I'm saying? Like, you definitely got to fund it. There's no way that you're going to get where you, where you want to go in any business, any business venture, if you don't have the capital to actually do so. You know what I'm saying? But... I know that, they're, like you said, like the freeways is like definitely valid too. So it's like, what do you think of some freeways to market like from your home, like without actually having to go out and do too much, like, um, you know what I'm saying, marketing? One of the best freeways to market is to use your social media or even not even that is to use the people that you know, not to say it like that, but it's like, if let's just say I went and I got a haircut and I'm going to tell one of my guys about it. That's marketing. Like people don't understand that marketing mm -hmm. is just word to mouth, just speaking about it. That That's what it is. Like you market yourself when you talk. <laughs> it isn't, even if you're not talking about a brand, but you're talking about yourself, you market yourself. Right. So it's like if you want to take a picture and post it on Instagram, that's marketing right there. You want to post a, a tweet that's marketing right there and say, even if you was like, dude on 35th Street, 
you posted that tweet it's like that's still a form of marketing you feel me that's free right there you just talking about something <laughs> like that I, i'm putting it in i'm trying to like basically put in a general term so it's like y'all can understand that you can still get out there with free marketing like you feel me use it until right. you want to blow up type <laughs> Now, that's what I, I wanted you to really, like, simpli simplify it because it's, like, a lot of people will think that it's so much to marketing. And honestly, it's like, bro, you can really just do it yourself because the Internet will connect you to so many people. Like, it just takes it. It'll either take time. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's what I was going to ask next. Like, is how important is how important is it to be consistent when you're doing this and, like, actually trying to, like, consistent meaning, like, you're cons like, daily, you know what I'm saying, drop and post or even... Um, how many times a day, you know what I'm saying? And like how consistent with the post, like do you continuously drop good knowledge on your post that you drop on? Do you continuously like look the best when you drop in the post? Like what, do you feel like consistency is important here or do you feel like it's more so like it happens over time and you just, you know what I'm saying? Like just keep branding yourself properly and keep your, keep doing your mood. So I believe that with marketing yourself it is definitely important to be consistent because uh, once you start to market to a certain point you start to build up an audience and once you build up an audience I mean you have to have a place for that audience to go whether you know you're again hosting a show or you want them to you know you have services or products you have to have a place for them to go so you have to be consistent with that no matter what if you're not consistent then i mean the business is going not going to be consistently generating revenue how how consistent do you want to be paid you think about that that's how consistent right. you need to be <laughs> So what do you what do you feel like <laughs> what do you feel like is some marketing tactics for like people who make music? Cause I feel like that's that's a real like serious, not even a serious topic, but I feel like people who make music and are independent artists sometimes they like the uh, they like the inspiration or they just don't know which way to take it. You know, don't know which way to take their marketing. So like, what you feel like is some ways so a strategy for music? Some of the ways for music, uh, I'm not sure if people know this, but when uh, back in 2017, I actually got into music. Like I didn't understand that you had to put a lot of money into creating the album and all of this and all of that. But uh, one of the best ways for that was, I mean, if you got a crib, I used to literally play my music in the crib and just have plenty of people over. We just chill, whether you know you smoke, you drink. I mean, you do what you gotta do at the end of the day uh, ain't nobody here judging you feel me everybody we humans at the end of the day so i even have to understand that but you you just invite people over and you play your music or even if you play your music in the car and you know post it on youtube or uh, 141 17 18. <laughs> but you you just you know, you just play your music around or you post it on YouTube or you even post, you feel me, a, a video of it on Instagram or even TikTok been busting lately. Have you, you, you get a little hook, uh, a catchy song and post it on TikTok, have everybody dancing to it, it's over with. And that's probably one of the best free marketing things right there for you if you, you do music, for real, for real. Right. <laughs> like that's, 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 you can go crazy off that. Sure. This is one of my last questions, man. Like, when it comes to Instagram marketing, how can I take my account from 500 followers to like 2,000? You know what I'm saying? And I, and I don't mean like in a long time. I mean like right now. You know, like I want to do it today. I want to, uh, you know, time is of the essence, you know? And that's what everybody, you know, everybody feels that way, you know? And yeah, you can wait for things to happen, you know? And I know things happen over time, but I'm saying like, what do you think is the, can you give me some right now? What can I do right now? Right, after, so, watching this, after watching this episode, I can go do it right now. So in order, so what I want to say is that there's two things to this, right? So yes, I, I'm going to give you the tools to help you grow your account from 500 to 2K, right? And, and it, at the end of it, I just want you to really ask yourself, do you want some thorough followers, some people who are going to actually engage, or you just want to just look like it? You just want to have, you feel me, the outside look, right? So to get to 500, from 500 to 2K, you can go buy some followers. 
Man, I'm going to give you the simple, straight up, you can go buy some followers to get there. And if that's what you really want to do, if that's how you want to grow your brand, I mean, okay, that's what you can do. Right, because it, it, it's a, a stigma or something that's going around that we, we need instant gratification. Well, if you really want to build a brand and you really want it to, to have a, a good foundation, then you, you definitely, even if you're getting four, five, six, seven followers a day, it, it's cool. You feel me? We're not in a rush to get that many followers. What are you going to do with 2,000 followers? Ask yourself that. What are you going to do with 2,000 followers if, I, if you got them right now? Nothing. Nothing. And so you want to grow it and you want to mature that account and, and build a good brand behind it. Right? So the good things that you want take time. Right. I agree with that. But like I really like where the group I come from. I like, go like I be looking at I be like there like like man, it's just like a part of like I guess it's just like a part of life, bro. Like you to be like you look at other people's accounts or you look at other people's like you know what I'm saying, social media, you be like, dang, like I gotta get my I gotta grow my you know what I'm saying? But then you be you sit back and realize like, bro, do I want like quality or do you want quantity, man? Like really? I always ask myself that, like and another thing, uh, another thing, just to, to kinda go off of that, do you want quality or quantity and i mean honestly i see it as if you have enough time to look at somebody else's account and be like dang why well, ain't got that many followers you not putting in enough work not in enough work bro for real i had to really realize that like but i'm not doing enough that's i ain't got man. time to focus what other people got <laughs> yeah not man, enough I time give it up, like, like i'm like bro i'd much rather like lock in on my business and keep watching everybody else. Not because it's not even like I'm not gonna lie, it's not even like I don't put in enough work. And it's not even like they put in much more work than me. It's more so that their account is just at a different level or like they do different things. And it's like you gotta understand where you at and what you're trying to do. Like shit like with me, I'm trying to be the mobile. I'm trying to grow my whole account. I'm trying to really become somebody through the you know what I'm saying, through the trenches, like really just Develop my way there, you know what I'm saying? Perfect my craft the whole way there. I'd rather do that much more so than just jump into it. And like, like I'm not even necessarily buying followers, but even like doing more so a lot of the promo. Like I, like me as an artist, like I'm perfecting my music in, in a sense to me. But like now I'm starting to understand, like I said, I'm the business, I'm the brand. So I've been doing a lot more promo because understanding what's going on and how the business works, how like entrepreneurship works, even just how building a brand works, you know, and it's not even just entrepreneurship, it's just building a brand because branding is so important, bro. Like, if you're not really branding or not even trying to brand yourself, like, you can make so much money just off of your own name, like, man. I'm not even gonna lie. I ain't gonna even say it on this. I ain't, well, I'm gonna say it because, you know, I want y'all to get it too, you know what I'm saying? Like, you gotta get, like, these domain names. Like, you can get your own name, like, don't, like, st like, like, start your own domain, you know what I'm saying? And not even just get the domain name, but you got to get the LLCs behind it. Like, the, it's, if you really want it, you feel me? You got to, it's ownership, ownership. You got to own it, like, for real. You're right, like, it's a must, like, because you the, like I say, you the business, bro. And once you realize that, you'll never go broke. Like, you, you create the value, like, you... That's why I always say you supply what you demand. You gotta really, you gotta really get into that, like, figuring out what it is that you want out of this. And that's how you decide to start building your wealth, like, building and manifesting. Because once you realize it, then you start, all right, man, what I gotta do to get it? And once you, and then in business, you gotta get into this marketing, like, because marketing is what's gonna propel your business. It's gonna take your business to the next level. I understand the promotion is what's gonna take your business to the next level. Even, like, even, once you find your niche, that's why I asked in the beginning, like, your, like, your demographic, like, you want to find out who you're trying to talk to because once you realize that, then it's like, it'll be not even easier, but then it'll be more tailored for your promotion. And you can promote it, you can promote it to those that specific amount of people or those specific people first and let them promote for you. You know, because once, once the people start listening to your music and once people start liking your business, your brand like that, They'll tell their people about it, where they got it from, who they like, you know what I'm saying? Like who they who they did it with or whatever, whatever it is, you know, like they'll let it they'll let it be known what's going on and like that's all you really need. You know? But it comes from like marketing and promotion and also like you exposing your business. Right. You know? That's basically again, that's marketing, exposure. 
Anything else you wanna? You got anything else you wanna say, bro? Uh, I definitely again wanna you know say thank you for you know being on the podcast and and you know people forget about marketing. People live. I don't understand it. Like I mean, I do. I understand it now. The only reason being, I say I don't understand it is because I understand how important marketing is now. Like I, I used to not want to say nothing about nothing that I did, and it's like in order to really grow, that's what you got to do, right? So it's like thank you again for not skipping over marketing and, and allowing the people to catch a, a different side of business. Uh, you know, it's a lot of parts of business that people skip over. Yeah, definitely. Definitely miss out on it. So it's like definitely got to catch the whole thing. You know, you can't really miss out on this one aspect because you want to like, you know what I'm saying, do your own thing. So, you know, and I got the wood in the joint. <laughs> but, you know, definitely. Definitely want to make sure that you stay tapped in to like your whole business, man, because there's more sides to it. You always want to like progress at every, at every level, like. Stay aware of what's going on, especially like when it comes to your things that you're, you feel me, your, 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 your wealth, like that, that you're creating right now, you know? No, definitely, so, definitely. And then, you know, y'all can tap in with me on, uh, you know, Instagram, Twan the Don, four N's at the T W A N D O N. D O N N N. <laughs> and then Antoine Fowler on, on Facebook and also on YouTube. We we got a podcast dropping soon. We got a we definitely got some projects in the works. So definitely stay plugged in. And definitely, you know, Disco, we gotta stay plugged in to everybody. Where, where can we find you at, Broski? Oh man, follow me at Disco thirty three on everything. That's how you need to know. Like I'm everywhere. YouTube, <laughs> YouTube, Facebook. I ain't got no Facebook. So my granny I don't do that. You feel me? She blue, but I, I, <laughs> but yeah, man. Follow me on Instagram. You feel me? Twitter. Instagram, thirty three, man. And I got some more music, more, more merch. Everything dropping real soon, man. So just stay tuned. Just stay tuned, and I'll see y'all on the next one. All right, be smooth. Check out season two, the Hit BMW Trading Podcast by Desco. Every Wednesday on the House Hill Entertainment Network's BMW Trading Podcast helps you gain more financial literacy to a better life. Head over to www.househillentertainment.com or download the free House Hill Entertainment app exclusively for iPhone and Android devices.